My name's Tim McDonald, and I'm the lead pastor at West Side of Jesus Church in Portland, Oregon. And the passage we're going to be looking at today is Zephaniah, Zephaniah 3, 17, and it says this, The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. What a beautiful image, this warrior king, this warrior God who's on top of everything, singing over his people. You get this picture of almost this fatherly sense of pulling people in as he's fighting on their behalf. You know, what's fascinating about this verse is that it comes the tail end of a very difficult message that Zephaniah had to give. Um, he was talking to the people about the pain and the brokenness that was both in their culture, but also within the, peop- the people of Israel themselves. And in the midst of that, it's like Zephaniah throws Israel a lifeline. Out here in the Northwest, we love to raft. And I I don't know if you've ever been on a river raft before, but there's that moment, it's inevitable, where you get bumped out of the boat and you're floating down the river. And if it's really dicey, you know what you're looking for is like that lifeline, a line that can be thrown out from the side. And I know I've been in that place where you want to grab onto that line because it's what's going to keep you in the midst of the rough waters. It's what's going to help you get to the safety of the shore. In a lot of respects, it's exactly what Zephaniah is doing here. He's throwing out that line to Israel. He's saying, like, look, there's safety here. Because this God, he is with you. Uh, And and, and not in some passive way, but in an active way. He's with you to save. And on top of that, he delights in you. He loves you like a father, like pulling his children in. He loves you so much. And in the midst of that, he's singing over you with joy, championing you, believing in you. That's the God that we follow, says Zephaniah. You know, I I wonder if if you were to think about it, if there's somebody in your life right now that needs that lifeline, somebody that needs to hear about this God that is literally singing over them and is mighty to save, I encourage you, pick up your phone, send them a text, throw them that lifeline.